So hang in there. Don't get discouraged. Don't let the bad days bring you down. We will get through this one day, one moment, one pound, one step at a time. channel and if you're new here welcome welcome to a what I eat in a week video to lose weight where I'll be sharing with you healthy recipes healthy meal ideas and the amount of calories I eat in a week to get this done if you're new here my name is Daniela and I'm currently on a journey to lose a hundred pounds I've been on this journey of weight loss since 2018 with many ups and downs I lost weight really quickly in the beginning on keto gained back half my weight, then I lost that weight and then some, plateaued for a bit, and now the skill's moving. This is my progress thus far, and I've been doing this all with home workouts. And I'm not just on a journey to lose weight, I'm on a journey to build muscle at the same time. I started my weight loss journey doing HIIT cardio and HIIT strength training workouts, and it really helped shape my body to where it is today. The goal is to get to 100 pounds down and then after that I will be making physique oriented goals. You always got to be striving for something guys. This journey is truly, there's no ending to it. It's not a race, it is a marathon. We should constantly have milestones along the way because I plan on being fit and healthy until the day I die. I want to stay strong, I want to have a long health span and not just a long lifespan, but to be healthy and mobile and fit. If this is something that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button to come join me in this journey and smash that like button guys because it helps me out tremendously. Today is Super Bowl Sunday, so yay to that. The Bengals are in the Super Bowl? What? <laughs> that was funny. I did not think Mahomes would lose that. Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, but yeah, we are Buffalo fans here. We are all about Josh Allen. I wanted him to get it so badly. His team deserved it, but ugh, that was such a tough, tough final game there. Anyway, um, my brain's on football, but it should be on food because A, I'm hungry. And yeah, I before I go into cheat days, I really like to make sure I'm really strict with my calories. So these are my calories for the past few days. You guys would see this and you know I'm sitting at 213 pounds. I lost two pounds last week or this week. I cannot believe that because usually after losing three pounds, I don't lose more weight. But I guess I got things going because I've been really strict with my calories. I've been really diligent and I'm making sure I'm full at the end of the day. I'm never hungry except right now because I'm fasting. But I'm rarely hungry on this. Like I'm never hungry because I eat low calorie dense foods and foods I enjoy enjoy. I make a lot of healthy swaps for foods. Like in one video, I made like a healthy swap of poutine and a healthy swap for pizza. It's all about having balance. And I'm having a treat meal today because my therapist and I and my nurse nutritionist and I discussed this and she thinks it's beneficial if I have one treat meal a week. Anyway, let's roll into some footage of me going to Costco. We renewed our Costco membership, so yay. Safeway and Walmart. Let's get it done.
got back from Safeway, Walmart, and Costco. So grateful to have a Costco membership. Now I'm gonna show you a bit of a grocery haul. All right, here is our little grocery haul. I do have fruits and vegetables in the fridge. So this is kind of like just a, um, a finisher up shop. I don't know, it's a shop to complement everything else I have. So Costco, we have our Costco membership again and I connected with someone on Facebook and they had a bunch of premier proteins and I'm like, where did you get that? And I assumed it was Costco and I assumed right. So I bought this bad boy for 34 bucks. There are 24 in here. This is gonna be so useful for when I have workouts and I get hungry in the middle of it. I just pop one of these. It's been a lifesaver. So yeah, I love that. Look at the macros on that bad boy. Then we got some bubbly. Got a 24 pack case of bubbly. Um, apparently it's the same cost if we get it at Walmart, but bubbly's life. There is zero calories in that, like you can't go wrong. It's how I keep myself full with um, sparkling water or carbonated water. Bubbly's Canadian and it's life. The real reason why we reactivate our Costco membership is for these chicken thighs. Boneless, skinless, and lean. I love chicken thighs. I prefer them to over chicken breasts. They just cook better, they taste better. Oh, they're so good. And Superstore used to have them, but they haven't been consistent. And I know Costco carries these on the regular. So shout out to this. This is all for me, literally. Um, the boys are gonna have different things. I think they're gonna have ground beef. But yeah, chicken thighs, so good. Now, this is from Walmart. We picked up some Big Little Bread. This is the bread I used for my anabolic French toast. It is high in fiber, non-GMO, and it's pretty awesome. Like I said, nutrition labels lie. It, you, I always weigh out each slice of bread because it's never what it says. It's like random, so it is what it is. Uh, that's for the boys there. Some taco shells, because they love tacos. I wish we had real tacos, guys. We There's no real tacos up here in Canada. I need to go to the United States and get me some real tacos, okay? Like real tacos, real authentic Mexican tacos. Then I got two packs of unsweetened almond milk. Walmart sells these for two for seven. These, this is my milk staple. I just use it because it's low in calorie and I prefer it over cow's milk. Not that there's anything wrong with cow's milk. This is for the boys again. They're gonna have some nachos. Um, oh, I got some frozen vegetables. So I got some broccoli forlets. They're very cheap and they won't go bad because it's in the fridge. And I also got some baby Brussels sprouts. I'll be probably popping this guy in the oven this time. We'll see how that works out. Then um, I got some eggs from Walmart. I've been on an egg punch lately. I'm obsessed with eggs, so it's wild. I got some egg whites. Yum, yum, yum. I put that in my protein shake or I complement it with eggs to get in my protein up. This is the key to getting in your protein. It's just pure protein. You can get your protein numbers up. We already showed you that guy. Oh, and I fell in love with these egg white quiches from Burnaby Farm. Same thing. I think they were a Canadian company. But oh my gosh, I got two of these. They're 100 calories per quiche. They have real egg whites in it, spinach. I just pop it in the microwave. So good. I will show you guys this during the week. These are going to be very useful for my low carb days. Got my fake pop here. Zero calories, sweetened with circulose, love it, helps keep me full, gives a little bit more flavor when I want it. If I have that sweet tooth craving, I get it done. And then I got some brown rice. This will be my carb section. Um, I was looking at like healthy carbs that um, bodybuilders eat, because I don't know, I'm prepping my brain to get into that mode because I really want to compete in wellness. And I think I have the genetic structure to do it. I don't know, but I'm looking at my body and I think I might have the genetic structure to be a bodybuilder. I don't want to do bodybuilder. I want to do wellness. I don't know about figure and I don't know about physique, but I love the wellness because those legs, oh, so cute. I love that look. I just love that look. Love working out my legs and my legs are a powerhouse. Anyway, I digress. 
brown rice. Um, I spent like hours in the <laughs> brown rice section and my hubby's like, can you just choose one? It's brown rice. So I went with this brown rice. It's from California. I went with it because it had 10 less calories than the rest of them. The rest of them were sitting at 160. This is, I mean, sorry. The rest of them were sitting at 170 calories. This one's sitting at 160, so whatever i take what i can get i hope i'll like these i hope i hope they're good they just look a little different they look a little weird but i'll take it speaking of healthy carbs cream of wheat cream of wheat was on the list of you know healthy carbs that bodybuilders eat and i used to eat this as a kid guys i i love it and i was like this is actually decent it's high in iron um, it's low in calories, like it's only 100 head calories per serving. It's like oatmeal, it's exactly the same as oatmeal. Actually, it might be less. Let me check my oatmeal. Oh, exactly the same as oatmeal. They're both 110 calories. But I just love cream of wheat, it's just something I grew up with. Hopefully, I don't have a reaction to it, but so far, I'm introducing carbs that don't trigger me. So, yeah, it's 110 calories, so good, high in fiber and yeah 23 grams of carbs this is going to be useful for when i need it and for the cheat day as you guys saw in the grocery haul like this will be gone by today i don't allow this stuff in the house and if it's not gone i get my hubby to hide it it's super bowl you gotta live a balanced lifestyle i love doritos so i'm gonna have some doritos and that is what my son's gonna have and my hubby likes these kettle cheddar chips kind of thing so yeah that's my little grocery haul i'm gonna have indian food later tonight i'm gonna enjoy that the last time i had indian food was two weeks ago and yeah my nutritionist and i talked about it and she says i will benefit from one treat meal a week and i haven't gone over since then and indian food doesn't trigger me so we'll see how this goes i am gonna have a few beers today so i'm just gonna be mindful of that just because it's the super bowl why not i'm gonna have really good beers really high class beers i'll show you that later um i don't like crap beers the last time i had beers it was crap and i just bleh, I'm not into it so i get i have an expensive taste when it comes to certain things alcohol wine a mediocre taste but anyway i digress tomorrow we'll be going out for valentine's day so we're gonna have a dinner we're gonna do some korean barbecue and with that, I'm going to go lower carb. That's why I'm doing Korean barbecue, because I can have all the meat. Um, I'm just going to go out and have one meal, enjoy myself. And I guess this week it's kind of like two treat meals. But I'm trying to go low carb, because I am cycling through. Like, I'll do low carb for like two to three days, and then I'll slowly increase my carbs to higher carbs. But as I said before, my high carb is 150 grams of carbs, because that's that's what i go for if i need more i take more but that's what i'm doing i'm trying to figure out how my body responds to things I'm trying to learn my body in terms of this carb rotational calorie cycling thing so yeah i think it's working out for me thus far like i'm 213 pounds guys i'm at my lowest weight like yay i'm so happy that i'm at my lowest weight so what i'm doing is working so chill girl i am having some anxiety about enjoying today i am having some thoughts but i'm telling myself balance is key if i don't have a treat meal i will probably binge later on it's something that i think works best for me now this will be the last time i'm getting takeout for a while um, I'm probably, when I do have a cheat day, I'll probably just increase the amount of calories I eat. So have healthier meals, but just eat more of it, like more rice or more chicken or what have you. And yeah, so I'm going to go process those emotions once I'm done chatting with you guys and catching up. Um, let me know, do you guys struggle with um, having reward meals if you feel like you're doing well and you want to have a reward meal? Do you feel guilty? Because, you know, it's okay to have that emotion. You're validated in having that emotion. Never invalidate your emotions. Never beat yourself up for feeling a certain way. Just process the emotion and use your logical brain to reason with yourself. So what I'm going to do when I go journal, I'm going to tell myself, hey, you've been so strict for this entire week 
you've been really low in calories, you've been sticking to your goals, you haven't felt hungry, you worked out six days this week, your body could use the refueling. It is okay. So yeah, we just got to remember that. Anyway, I'm going to go put away this food and I will see you guys when my hubby comes back with the beer. All right, here are the beers I was talking about. Well, I don't know what this one is, but it's a blonde. We usually don't get this one, but I'll try it because it's in the little stubby bottle. And this is the brand I usually get. I believe they're Belgian brews. I don't get the quad. That quad is going to be really heavy. It's going to, it's probably going to get me hammered because I don't drink a lot of alcohol. But I usually get the double or the single, but they're really good. So yeah, I'll have that today. We'll see if it triggers anything. I feel like I'm really in control of my binging because my binging is related to my emotions. So just got to keep my emotions in check. And I have a therapist appointment tomorrow, so that should help. Cheers. Hey everyone, it is now Monday, February 14th, and it is Valentine's Day. I woke up this morning very, very ill. My body is just gonna have to give up some things. It just is what it is. When you eat clean for a really long time and you count your calories and you don't have food that you're not used to and then one day the Super Bowl happens and then you jump into eating food you're not used to, you will have a visceral reaction. So I did have a visceral reaction and I'm really proud of myself because normally when this happens I beat myself up but instead I told myself hey you know what? It's okay to have balance in your life. It's okay to enjoy. But maybe you just have to cut out having takeout and having beer for a really long time. Like a really long time. The last time I drank beer was back in January. So this is the first time I drank this month. And that is okay. Like, I felt like it did when I almost hit 300 pounds. Um, I was having pain immediately. I had a Dorito chip. And I just started having, having pain immediately in my shoulder, my wrist, my knees, and my legs. I was talking to my therapist about this this morning, and I explained this to her, and she's like, you should be very proud of yourself for not beating yourself up. And you should also go, shh, sorry, I just went out for lunch, and I left her home, and now she's attached to me. Just relax, it's okay. <laughs> I should show you how she should react when we do that. I'll just insert a clip here. So yeah, that's Bo after we came back from lunch today. But anyway, I'll, I digress. I'll get back to that. Um, yeah, she says when people have chronic pain issues, nutrition is so important. If you have anything like celiac disease, inflammation, um, acid reflux, due to food sensitiv sensitivities, you cannot be eating things like pizza and takeout on the regular because that's just going to mess you up. Like... It's true. I haven't had anything in a while. I've been trying to be incorporating it, but I've come to the conclusion I just can't do it. I can't do it weekly. So instead, what I'm going to do is just consume more calories of the healthy stuff. Consume more rice, consume more chicken. I can't have takeout anymore. The Indian food didn't trigger me. It was definitely the beer. But even now, I had Indian food two weeks ago and my body's like, enough is enough. So I'm self-aware because it's taken me years to get here. I was at the point where I was like completely mindless. My PMDD would happen. I would just be vicious. I would just have fights with my partner. I just wasn't a good person. But now, well, not, I wouldn't say I wasn't a good person. I was just really struggling mentally. But now I'm still struggling mentally, but I'm more aware because of the years I spent meditating, because of the years I spent in therapy, and now I'm back in therapy after being off it for two years. So it's really important to understand your body and understand how you respond to things. If you feel ill after eating something, don't eat something. So speaking of which, um, today is Valentine's Day and I haven't been out in so long, so we decided to go to a Korean barbecue restaurant and I had 
very good food. I literally just went keto, meat and vegetables, meat and vegetables. And my body feels great, it's happy. So for the next few days, I'm probably gonna go low carb. I'm gonna focus more on my protein intake. And I'm not counting calories today, I am counting carbs today. But tomorrow you'll see me total up my entire calorie. So yeah, I just wanted to go out for Valentine's Day. I haven't gone out in a while and my hubby's on vacation, so why not? So yeah, this is me dressed up. I don't have a lot of dress up clothes. This top is a top that doesn't fit me. It's, all my dress up clothes are too big for me. There were clothes I had when I was wearing 3X, 4X back in the day. And now I'm a size large, a small large, bordering medium. But yeah, I just wear size large because um, my structure is very big. Like I've got big bones and I'm structured very heavily. And my boobs, of course, it kind of makes it hard to get into a medium. But we, uh, some of my large tops are getting very loose. So yeah, I just thought I would check in with you guys. and. You know, this is a realistic what I eat in a week video. It's a bit different because I haven't been calorie tracking every day. I didn't calorie track yesterday, but we're going to jump back into it tomorrow and we'll see how the scale responds later on this week. Anyway, I can't wait to show you guys more of my meals and let's get it done. We got this, guys. We got this. All right. It's been a week since my last clip in this vlog, so I'm going to do a little rundown. That week, guys, was incredibly difficult. I was just bombarded with all the hormones, all the soreness, and just all the muscle growth that I just, my appetite just went through the roof. And it sucked that it coordinated with that time of the month, PMDD, endometriosis, not fun at all, but I hung in there. I actually had to give myself another treat meal that week. And I will share with you my calories for that week so you can see how my calories fluctuate up and down. And um, the weight ended up staying steady this week. So that was a win. So let me go through what I ate this week in terms of calories. So Tuesday, I bounced back and I ended up eating 1,690 calories. Wednesday, I went a little higher because again, I was struggling with those urges of wanting to eat more. I went to 2,205 calories. Now, something special happened this day because this was the day that I discovered my maintenance calories. 2,200 calories are my maintenance calories. I know this because the next day I weighed exactly the same. Maintenance calories cannot just be calculated by plugging in some numbers into, you know, a little calorie maker online. It just doesn't happen that way. To discover your maintenance calories, you actually should be eating that same amount of calories per week and you see how your weight adjusts. Then you take in your median weight, so the middle weight out of those numbers, and if your weight stays the same, then those are your maintenance calories. You gotta kinda have to do that over a few weeks. I did it within a day because I've been calorie tracking for years. I'm very familiar with my body. I'm very familiar with how it responds to things. So the fact that it stayed the same way after consuming 2,200 calories, I know that is my maintenance calories. Back when I was working in the trades and I was active on my feet, probably stepping oh, 20,000, 30,000, maybe even 40,000 steps a day, I knew my maintenance calories was a lot higher because during that time I was just eating a bunch of fast food and I was not gaining any weight. I was actually losing weight. It was wild. So I know my maintenance calories back then was about 3,000. So when I stopped working, the key was to figure out what my maintenance calories are used were because I my activity levels down. And when I was working the trades, I was working out. So on top of that, a lot of calories being burned. So I'm super stoked that I found that number. We are gonna work with that number and make it happen. The next day I progressively went down. I had 1900 calories. And then Friday was the day I had my treat meal. I was doing good 
in the beginning of the day, I was sticking to my nutrition plan and then I just had this sudden urge of hunger. My quads were pulsating. I was just so hungry and I was touching my legs. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's new muscle. So I'm like, you know what? Just refeed the damn muscles. So that I did. I ended up having McDonald's as my treat meal. Who ever thought the macros on McDonald's isn't too bad? So maybe I'll throw it in there because it doesn't trigger me, at least the McDonald's here in Calgary, because the meat here is fresh. They use Albertan farmers. It's just really good. But yeah, anyway, I had that as my treat meal and my total calories for that day was 2,600 calories. Do not be afraid to have a few days of maintenance calories when you are calorie tracking. It is so important to do that. Um, Louise Journey, my friend Louise from Louise's Journey gave me this tip and it's been so helpful because it's really hard to sustain those low amount of calories for a significant amount of time. And I'm not bodybuilding right now. I'm just losing weight so why not throw in a couple maintenance days I know speaking of bodybuilding I know coaches throw in refuel days I don't know how to do that eventually I'll get a coach when it comes to that stuff because I know there are days that my body needs a little extra calories I don't plan on doing refuel days they just happen I listen to my body if I need a little bit more to eat then I eat a bit more and usually after those refuel days I'm satisfied and I just move on to the next day which I will share with you the calories for that. Saturday I had 1737 calories. That is a win. Went right back down. And then Sunday I had 1584 calories. And I'm starting this week off right. Um, this week we're leading into the new week now. I start my weeks for calories. I usually start them Sunday but whatever. We'll just start it Monday now. I had 1600s in calories on Monday. Tuesday, which was yesterday, I had 1,500. So we're going back down, even though my period's missing. We don't know where it went. But I'm seeing my TCM today. We're going to get that sorted. Maybe it'll kickstart when that happens. So yeah, um, I'm going to share with you a couple recipes I am cooking. All right, this is my next meal. Prior to this meal, I had a grenade protein bar and a peach drink. My little zero calorie hack there to help keep me full. This meal is 464 calories, if you can see that there. I don't think you can, so I'm just going to tell you what it is. Yep, it's 460 calories, 275 grams of mixed vegetables, 60 grams of ground beef hidden there, if you can see that, and 200 grams of chicken thighs from Costco. Bon appetit! So here I've got some zucchini mixed with tomatoes. You're supposed to add in a pepper. I forget a cilantro, cilantro pepper. I forget the name, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to add some kind pepper. I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add some paprika. I'm going to add some garlic. I'm always seasoning up my vegetables, guys, because when you season up your vegetables, they become flavorful and oh so good. For the first time in like ever, I'm actually boiling some asparagus. Yes, I'm gonna boil this asparagus, and I think after that, I'm gonna toss it in the air fryer and put some garlic on it, paprika, salt and pepper. Um, when it comes to seasoning, guys, I am, my family's from the island of spice, they call it, and that's Grenada in the Caribbean. I just know how to season things. I don't measure seasoning, I just throw it in there and I know what not to put too much of and what not to put too little of. It's all about a balance. You learn the more you cook, but I highly recommend if you're starting off with the whole seasoning thing or you don't know how to season your food, get a recipe online and just follow that. That's how I started learning. Um, I bought some, what do you call this, spinach yesterday. I should know this because this has been saving my butt. And yeah, this helped me drop three pounds yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, my weight's all over the place, period problems, but that's the reality of it. I will share with you guys more in my weekly weigh-in video. I got to share you guys with the weight fluctuations because it's absolutely normal. But yeah, I'm going to cook some of that with some mushrooms. So good. Here, I already cooked some uh, chicken thighs. So that will be stored in the fridge for whenever I need it. That one looks a little raw. Mm, I'm going to have to throw that one back in. Chicken thighs are tricky to cook. How many times I've cooked this raw and I ended up with food poisoning? <laughs> Whatever, I think my body's used to it now. So there's two things of chicken thighs there. There's the other one if you guys want to see. 
And then I am going to make some Brussels sprouts as well. I'm just going to have a bunch of vegetables prepped because preparation is key when you're struggling with binge eating. Like if you're hungry, just grab some vegetables to snack on. It's the best thing to do. So I'll probably pair those with some mushrooms. I probably have to buy some more mushrooms. So yeah, that's my freezer right now. I've had some cod here. I have not or had it. I need to cook that because this is a low calorie dense food. I usually like to make a fish and chips with that, a very healthier version. What else do I have in here? I've got my mixed vegetables. Like I like to keep them frozen because they last longer. Some corn, that's for my son. I don't usually eat corn on its own. Another bag of Brussels sprouts. And yeah, my little egg quiche there. And some broccoli and cauliflower. There's a little bit in here. I should have brought like two bags of these. These were so good, I love this mix. All from Walmart, because they sell their vegetables cheap. This week, guys, was a very realistic week. It was a raw, real week on my weight loss journey where I was struggling with binging, but I didn't succumb to any binge urges. I just gave myself a little extra calories without going way out of control. I gave myself a second cheat day. I'm really working out really hard. I've been in a strict calorie deficit for, you know, about, I don't know, couple weeks now I got to keep going you know we don't see results in a couple weeks we just got to keep moving forward and that is the hardest part but it can be done and yeah this was kind of like a realistic what I eat in a week video and I showed you me going out and having food with my hubby I don't count Korean barbecue as a cheat meal because all I had was meat and vegetables that edamame was so good so yeah you can this is how you do an active healthy balanced lifestyle so I'm really proud of this vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed it too if you made it this far into the end of the video type in a bunch of green emojis if you don't have a ability to do that just type in the word green we got this guys no matter how hard it gets keep going forward yes you're winning the grind of it you kind of get exhausted doing the same things day in and day out but it's repetition that leads us to success it's repeating those habits on the daily that get us to our goals so hang in there don't get discouraged don't let the bad days bring you down they will happen just Get through the bad days with grace. Give yourself all the love and tell yourself that tomorrow will be a better day. We will get through this one day, one moment, one pound, one step at a time. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Send you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.